All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another video and today we're doing a first impression of a brand new mobile MMORPG from Neilcraft Limited called Eternal Sword M. Now before we get into it, I want to let you guys know right now that this video is sponsored by Neilcraft Limited but that will in no way affect my opinions or review of this game. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And currently, we're on the character or class selection screen, which is pretty standard for MMOs. And we have five classes. We have the Swordsman, which you see right here. We also have the Mage, which is a ranged magic user. And uh, also a Gunner, who of course uses a gun and is a ranged physical type. And uh, there's also the Warrior right here with the giant ass sword pretty standard once again for mmos and uh, lastly we have this class called miko which i'm not really sure what it entails it looks like some kind of magic user maybe a combination of mage and gunner possibly or just like a different kind of mage i'm not really sure but they all look really really good i gotta say the graphics so far have uh, impressed me and it's given me these like really hardcore just old school MMORPG vibes. I don't really play them these days, but back in the day, your boy was pretty hardcore into the MMO scene, and uh, I've definitely spent, I don't even know, like maybe thousands of hours of my life on those games in my teenage years, so uh, definitely feeling pretty nostalgic right now. As far as class goes, um, I typically like to go for swords, sword users, but maybe today I want to change it up a little bit and go for like a mage. Or a gunner. Yo, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have played MMOs in the past. What class do you usually go for? All right, I'm curious to know. So I think for today's video, we're gonna go for a gunner, just to uh, change it up a little bit. And yeah, she looks dope. So we're gonna go for gunner. So next step here, and then we can customize our character as well. So it looks like most of these um, outfits are locked at the moment. And let's see what we can do for headwear. Headwear is locked as well. So it doesn't look like there's a lot of custom customization as you start the game, but I'm sure over time, when you play more, you can unlock uh, more of these outfits and such. Oh, these look pretty dope. Okay, so there's different rarities to them. This is S rarity. We got an A rarity um, headwear here. S rarity. Okay, so pretty cool, pretty cool. So at the moment, no customization options. What are these combo things? Oh, colors. Okay, I see. Um, I like white here. White here is fine. And for costume, let's go with uh, a little bit of red. Just a splash of color. Okay, that's cool. There we go. So our gunner is officially created. Let's jump in. Let's see what this gameplay is like. So we're in the world of ruins. Oh, there's voice acting. Interesting, interesting. Okay, let me turn this uh, volume up a little bit. Okay, so I wasn't actually expecting like full-on voiceovers for all the cutscenes. That's really good. Graphics-wise, um, pretty solid. Pretty solid. I mean, is it like PC quality graphics? No, but pretty impressive for a mobile game. And uh, it does bring me back to like, you know, 10 plus years ago when I actually used to play these games a lot. Uh, very reminiscent of like those kind of graphics, you know? Seven days before the end of the world. Okay, chapter one. Let's get into some gameplay. Come on. Uh, 3D perspective or 2.5D perspective. So 2.5D is suitable for those sensitive to 3D or large battles. And 3D perspective is target is always in view, suitable for 1v1 battles. Um, let's go with the 3D perspective for now. My head is aching. Where is it? I What did she say? <laughs> I missed it. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we just move. By dragging our finger along the screen, 
Makes sense. And what are we doing here? Space time traveler, gather the weapons ahead. Move close to the weapons to collect automatically. Okay, so are these the weapons? I believe this is the weapon. Pick up. Alright, so we got R1 Grief Dual Guns. And our CP is 6,000. Probably not the greatest. Alright. Equip our weapon. Oh, that's dope. Okay. Yo, she, she runs like a ninja. She's like a dual gun wielding ninja. Alright. Oh, okay, so we have to save the strange girl. Um. Oh, okay, so you just hold... You're not even holding it, you just click on Okay, you just click on it to fire. Okay. Why are the goblins that irascible today? Irascible. Big words. Me, are you alright? Thank you. These goblins cannot deal any injury to me. May I ask your name? Well, you should come with me then. Maybe one of uh, my friends knows you. Do you remember your name? My name. I scour my, na my mind for name. Finally, a familiar word jumps to mind. Uh... I think we said our own name. Okay, so the default name apparently is Zane Sears. I don't really know what that's from. If that's a reference to something, but let's uh, change it to our actual name. You know what? It's a female character. I would normally put Tiger, but uh, let's change it up a little bit since it is a female character. I don't want to name it after myself. Let's go with uh, Android 18. Okay, that's the name. Just leveled up. Okay, that was quick. That was quick. CP increased by 108. And uh, what are we doing now? My body moves before I'm aware of the fight. Perhaps you've been through plenty of fights. Maybe. Maybe. It is a possibility. So apparently you have amnesia. Um, no surprise there, I guess. <laughs> Pretty standard story device right there. Um... Oh, so all the people running around are other actual people, right? Like Scanner, Cyber, Cy, Cy wait, what's the guy's name? Cy Cyber Dominator? Oh, Psycho Dominator? Actually, yeah, but they're probably NPCs. Are they? I don't know. I feel like Scanner's a real person. Probably. Alright, what do we do now? What are we doing here? Search for the remnants of the uh, Mysterious Guardian. Um, is this it? Is this the Mysterious Guardian? Let's just run around for a bit. Let's just uh, take a look at the world. Um, yeah, so far not bad, man. I like the music. I like uh, the environment. Very nostalgic, once again. Like, it, it definitely reminds me of my old school MMR, MMO. MMO days, man, I can't even talk right now. MMO days. Yo, that guy looks strong. Let's try to kill him. Can we? Uh, no, apparently not. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, sick. We have like a special... Special attack. Okay. So... We're killing some men sheep at the moment. Or... Oh, not men sheep. Merry lamb. They're called merry lamb. <laughs> men sheep. Um... Because I just don't know where I'm going. Honestly. So we're gonna kill some monsters first. We're gonna kill some monsters. Just like get a feel for the game first. And then uh, we'll go from there. Oh, another player, Wild Butcher. Yeah, I think that's a real person. Maybe. It's hard to tell right now. Where do we go now? Where do we go now? There should be like an arrow telling us. Oh, and you know what? There is. I'm just stupid. Okay, there's actually a marker telling us exactly where to go. I just missed it. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Okay, let's get back on track, guys. Let's move through the story for a bit. And, uh, you know, hopefully get a boss fight in or something like that before we finish up this video. But I like the feel of this like movement, the environment, everything looks really really smooth right now. Okay, oh! Um, I think that's the guardian we're looking for. I think that's the guardian we're looking for. Alright. Are we fighting him? Or... No? She's gonna stand there. It says defeat the ruined guardian, but he's not even attacking us. What's going on? What's going on? Okay, should I just attack myself first? Okay, okay, let's 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 move back a bit. Okay, we're a range character, so no need to fight close. Um Oh, let's use a special here. Piercing shot. 
And boom. Yo, I'm so good at this game. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. It's not like it, they made it so they can easily defeat the first tutorial boss. I'm just, I'm just really good. All right, just trust me. Trust me. Let's pick some... Let's pick up some wood? Something's up ahead. Let me check it out. What is up ahead? Mysterious man. Unlock control skill shock bomb. Fire a super shock bomb towards the target, dealing damage to the target once and, and discontinue enemies cast. Interesting. Interesting. Who are you? All who oppose Elusen shall die. Okay. So let's speed up these guys real quick. Uh, let's use our special spinning shooting attack. And let's just gun down these guys real quick. Yeah, yo, I'm definitely not playing this character appropriately. I'm just like literally standing there right beside them and shooting. But uh, I don't think we have to worry that, that, that much about it right now. This is literally the, literally the tutorial, right? So it's meant to be easy, I guess. Like, this guy's dying really fast. We're good. Okay, let's try a little bit. Let's, let's try a little bit. Okay, let's run a bit. Okay, get away from the circle. We all know that red circles are bad news in, in pretty much any game. <laughs> and uh, let's pop a special here. Boom. All right. R1. Oh, you know what? Let's equip these gloves. Do we get anything else we can equip? Oh, no. What happened? Our little thing. Just can't stand by and do nothing. I've got to help. Okay. Level 5 already. Level 5 already. Psycho key. I won't allow it. Cough. No. My power. Now of all times. Starter guide, Android 18, congratulations on finding part of your memories. Uh, okay, open memory emblem. Recall memory. Tap close and start our adventures. Okay. Let's uh, continue on our, our journey. And... I don't really know what's going on, to be honest. I'm a little bit confused by the story. I'm sure I'll get it at some point, <laughs> but... It's very, very confusing right now. Like, all I know right now is I'm like, you know, shooting some sheep, beat a few golems or, or guardians, and uh, now we're killing some more sheep. Maybe to grab some cooked meat from some goblins over there. Oh, goblins. Okay, let's go for the goblins. Where are these goblins at? Where are these goblins at? Oh, right here. Okay, let's, let's run over to that marker. I wish I could run a little bit faster, but I'm sure that comes later. I'm sure there's like an upgrade for that or something. Alright. Let's kick some goblin ass. We got a breastplate, sweet. Okay, let's equip that. Star is taken away. Stay village vigilant. I will catch up soon. Yeah, they need to make the text like go a little bit slower. This one might be the leader of the goblins. I better be wary. All right, let's attack this goblin leader. Here we go. Yo, he is so tanky. What the heck? Everybody else died in like two seconds. This man is taking no damage. Okay. Move fast. Move forward to dodge all the attacks in the way. Uh, oh, okay, there's a dodge button. Interesting. Okay. Okay, Goblin Leader time. Definitely a little bit harder. Quite a bit harder, actually, than other en enemies, but, um, I think, I think we can beat him. I think we can beat him. Oh, the, do oh the, 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 the dodge has a recharge time. Yo, we are getting destroyed. Uh, okay, 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 okay. He's almost dead. Just gotta stay alive. Just gotta stay alive. Okay, we got this. We got this. 
Gotta dodge that. Almost there. Almost there. And there we go. Goblin Leader has been defeated. Power. I can feel the power. Sweet. Android 18, you're getting even better at fighting, but don't forget to upgrade skills. Come with me. Alright. Skill, quick level up. Oh, it just automatically levels up your skills for you. Okay. Saves me time, I guess. I don't have to really think too much about it, which I like. Um, one of the things I didn't like about like MMOs and like RPGs in general, back in the day was like, you know, having to look for guides and stuff like that to figure out like what skills I should be building or like what's the best build for certain characters, certain classes, all that stuff. Um, this one just does it for you apparently, which is not necessarily a bad thing. These goblins are really dogged. We'll have to engage them. Then, Lobelia, stay behind me. Lobelia, watch out! What's going on? Check on Lobelia. Yes, we should do that. We should do that. Why does Lobelia stop moving? This is the time rift. Looks like it activated because I awakened. Whoa, what are those? Alright, more bad guys. Let's go. That's pretty sick. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Demon Slayer. Or not Demon Slayer, Demon Hunter in... Um, in Diablo, with like the spinning gun attack, but I, I guess it's not like unique to Diablo either. I'm sure a lot of gun using characters to do that in, in games. Okay, Chaos Lord. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's, let's flip back. Oh, you know what? I was meant to flip back. We flip forward instead. Um, also works, I guess. Time fetters will bind you. Uh, so it looks like we're stunned. Oh, yo, we got like two more skills. Okay, let's uh, let's just pop these. Let's pop these. What? Do we just get wings? What? Oh, that's crazy. Okay. So we're invincible now. Like we literally, we're not, we're not taking any damage. We're not taking any damage. I'm just gonna stand here and gun him down. R1 arrogance dual guns. Chopper, you're familiar and protect you always. I will take it. Resource file pack. Oh, we have to download some more uh, Download some more data. Okay, let's do that. All right, my friends That is pretty much where we will call today's video again a big shout out to Neocraft limited for sponsoring The channel and I gotta say this game eternal sword M does have a very promising future um, the graphics are very good for a mobile RPG. The music is great, the character models look awesome, and the gameplay in general is just really fun. It was also like super smooth, which I was a little bit concerned about because uh, first of all, it is a mobile MMO, right? But also my internet connection has been pretty shaky these days considering the circumstances in the world, but uh, this game had no issues. It runs super, super smooth. There were a few you know, a few tiny issues I noticed uh, in terms of like the controls were not super responsive all the time. And you know, the text sometimes just scrolls through really fast and you can't read it. But uh, you gotta keep in mind, this game is in open beta. So I'm sure all these things will be patched out in future updates. And if you guys are interested in playing a mobile MMO or you guys are just MMO players in general and wanna play something on the go, this is definitely a game that I would recommend you guys check out. Links in the description to download the game Internal Sword M. And that's it guys, that is the first impression video. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.